All right, today we're going to see the effects of magic mushrooms and exercise. Magic mushrooms and exercise, what happens when you combine both? I found a few magic mushrooms here. Uh, and just to get around the law and not be consuming a class A drug here on YouTube, what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to just eat them off the ground. Like a sheep, like I'm grazing as a sheep, like I've eaten them by accident or something like that. Just so I'm not breaking the law. So just bear with me there for a minute. Here we go. Let's sit here. Put that down there. Ah. All right, we're back. I feel like time and space is like stars are coming down. I'm like, like everything is just like the universe and all the stars are just like coming through me, and I'm just like I'm totally trolling. I'm totally trolling. There is no way I could do. A video on mushrooms. Never gonna happen. Never gonna happen. But I did take mushrooms the other day. Some early season Liberty Cap mushrooms. It's growing here in the park. The first of the season to come up. And I just thought to myself, the talk came over me. Why don't I do an experiment? Why don't I do an experiment? Let's see the effects of eating a few magic mushrooms and exercise. Now who does that? Who does that? You think there's any science guys out there who do that? You think, there's a, you think Professor Luke O'Neill or someone like that does be walking around Phoenix Park and they suddenly see a host of magic mushrooms and they go, oh, no, I'll try this out. I'll try this out in the science, science experiment see the effects it is. Nobody, <laughs> nobody's doing what I'm doing, right? You find another channel where somebody else has done this. So, saw 10 mushrooms. Not 10 mushrooms, I saw mushrooms, right? And so I take 10, 10, 10, which isn't enough to get any effects. It would not, uh, not from early season mushrooms, no way. It gets stronger later in the year, but that's another story. So, 10. But what about with the exercise? So, I took the 10 mushrooms, started running. The plan was I'd run for an hour, and then after an hour I'd be at the peak. All, the, all those 10 mushrooms would be in my bloodstream by then. And then I'd do, I tested, I tested with interval sprints, we'll see what interval sprints would do. That was the plan. So, I ate them, started running. And it wasn't having any effects. None, nothing that couldn't be your imagination. Nothing that couldn't be a placebo. I was running for an hour. <coughs> the only thing I did notice was I had a headache which went. My headache which I had earlier had gone. And magic mushrooms can do that. Feel the and has had that effect. So, the arrow was up, just coming out down to the bottom of the park, I was about to leave, decided to do the, the intervals. I did the interval, just the one, I can only, ma only manage one. Flat out, it was about a minute and a half, a minute and a half. And the last 30 seconds was full on, full on, like full. <laughs> You know, like you're dying. And I could sort of feel something coming over me. Something strange was happening. It wasn't just the intensity of the interval. And when I stopped, after a minute and a half, I was breathing. <laughs> and everything else was breathing with me. Everything else was breathing too. 
Now strain sort of unison, yes, when you take ma magic mushrooms, strain sort of unison with nature that occurs. The trees are breeding, the grass is breeding, the path beside me was breeding, the stool that was there was breeding, everything was breeding, it was all breeding with me. This is after 10, 10 mushrooms. Usually with these Liberty Cat mushrooms, you would need 30, 40, I'd say. 30, 40 to get to be seen for the breeding, the breeding part to happen. So, that's zero effects, zero effects to feeling like I'm on 30 to 40 mushrooms you've gone from during an interval sprint. And that was it, that was the peak of the trip. Those, those, that minute or two after I'd done the interval was the peak of the trip. I went to do another interval. Things had gotten strange. <laughs> Things were getting strange. I couldn't. I couldn't do it. There was no way. There was no way I could do it. But that minute or two was the peak. And then on in, I was just gliding. I was just gliding. I was just gliding down. I went back along the beach ho home. Yeah. It was surreal. I was tripping. I was tripping. It was a very mild trip, a very mild trip, while I was tripping. Things were going through my mind. I was looking at the rocks and the sea and the sand. It was, it was like nature. It was like, these were the thoughts that were coming over. It was like nature was coming sentient inside of me. It was like nature was coming sentient inside of me. It was like, it was like the rocks were coming into me and looking at themselves and the sand was coming into me and looking at itself and the sea was coming into me and looking at itself like I was sharing my consciousness with this other entity and this is after 10 10 mushrooms ten I was like I could I could see I see how ancient it was I was sharing my conscience with, you know, the rocks were looking at themselves, the sea was looking at itself, the sand was looking at itself. And I was like, it was like it was looking at itself and saying, look how ancient I am. Look how ancient I am. And this Kev Boy guy. He was just Kev Boy guy. I mean, he, he's nothing. He's nothing. This Kev Boy guy is nothing. Kev Boy is nobody. And here I am. I'm just ancient. I'm timeless, immortal almost. This is after 10. You know, like I know, I know rocks don't actually become sentient inside of your brain when you take mushrooms. That's not a thing. That's just what this is. That's just what was going through me. That's what it felt like. You get this weird connection. When you take mushrooms, you get this connection with nature. It's like, it's like you're in a, it's like you're conscious. Think of it like driving a car. And rather than you having two wheels, two hands on the wheel, two hands on the wheel. You're sharing it with with someone else. You're sharing it with with nature, I suppose. That's what it feels like. And you're sort of like looking at the other person, and you're like, "Do I trust this person?" And it gets stronger and stronger. You you lose more and more control over the situation. You know, seventy, eighty, hundred mushrooms. It's when things start melting. I don't care what anyone says, nobody enjoys a hundred mushrooms. It's an experience, it's an experience. Mushrooms are always an experience. So, I got home and uh, my eyeballs were like, my pupils were saucepan pupils, I had saucepan pupils. Again, this is after 10, 10. You should not be getting saucepan pupils, dilated pupils after 10 mushrooms. That's, that's 30, 40 mushrooms at least. Yeah, a really good trip, really, really good experience. I was very happy with it. So, I'll continue on with things just with a sort of science team. Bex, I said, I peaked immediately after the, after the, after the uh, interval, high intensity interval sprint. What's happening? You're wondering what's happening, why? why? I was testing the the exercise and the effect. With the exercise, you got you got the blood flow going. 
not the blood flow going. And what will happen there is more of it should concentrate in the brain with a higher higher blood flow. So under 10, <coughs> with moderate exercise, no effects. Moderate exercise, no effects. It's understandable because you wouldn't get 10 mushrooms, you would not feel effects if you just ate them. No way. So even with the running, moderate exercise. But then with a high intensity, full on sprint, we went from no effects whatsoever. In a minute and a half, we gone from no effects to 40, to feeling like we were under 40 or 30 or 40 mushrooms. We were tripping. We got into a trip, which we had complete control over. I had complete control over. Because obviously I was in control when it peaked. And then from then on, I was just gliding. Just relaxed, good thoughts. That's one of the fears that people have when you, with magic mushrooms. Like, when they take them and the effects are coming on, they're, they're not liking it. And then it's like, oh, this isn't going to peak for another hour or so. Like, I'm not liking it now. How's it going to be in an hour? And then it starts going bad. And this was a good way having control over the trip. Felt that bond you get with nature, I felt went through all of that. Go home, pupils were dilated. It lasted 20-25 minutes, so very short, very short. In all, I say 20-25 minutes, the effects were gone. So, exercise, high intensity exercise, is a safe way to take the lowest dose possible of philoshevin and get the, effect, the effects. It is the safest way to do it. You have control of the trip, it's short, it can go on for three or four hours. That's, that's a long time. That's a long time for a trip. You know, in 70 or 80, you can go on for 10, 12 hours. Ugh, nobody, nobody enjoys that. I don't care what you say. It's an experience, but not one you want to go through again. Look, this was a really good, pleasant experience. Saying that, will I be doing it again? No. No, maybe once a year. Look, I like alcohol. I like alcohol. Because when I take, when I drink alcohol, I become myself. I become myself, and I like myself. I like myself. That's why I drink it. Uh, with mushrooms, wonderful experience as it is, and insightful as it is. Like I said, you're sharing the wheel. You're sharing the, the uh, steering wheel. You're sharing the, sharing the steering wheel with someone else. And you're sort of looking at that. You're looking at the rock. The rock that's looking at itself. Like, I don't trust you, rock. I don't trust rocks. Rock, I don't trust you. Right. Peace, man. Right, I just want to make one more point before I go. Uh, why I wouldn't do a video on Phyllis even why it would never happen, it's never gonna happen. The pupils, the big saucepan pupils dilated. You'd be looking at me thinking, this guy isn't himself, this guy isn't himself, and I wasn't. I would never do a YouTube video when I wasn't myself, just couldn't do it, couldn't do it. That's why, I just look out of it and wouldn't, wouldn't work. Uh, so yeah, have you ever thinking about doing mushrooms? To deal with whatever reason, there's a whole host of reasons why people want to take mushrooms just to experience it or whatever, deal with trauma or whatever. You know, I'm not going to go through all of that. There is the caveat though, you have to do a high intensity interval sprint, and most people will probably rather die than do that. Right, that's that. We're done. Catch you next time.